Is this thing on? Sorry, it was on the entire time and I knew it. I just wanted to say that in the video. This video is uh, not specifically directed at the entire Smash community at large, but rather this is focused on the individuals who have been unnecessarily toxic towards Minecraft Steve and the people who play the character. Yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't expect to make another Smash video so soon after the uh, the Steve and Kazuya one I posted like a month something ago now. You can check it out in the eye corner there, it'll be there or wherever it pops up, I don't know. And uh, you can also, you know, subscribe too if you want, you know, but it'll help me uh, sleep better at night. <laughs> now, if you're unaware, uh, recently uh, Super Smash Con 2022 happened. And what's significant about this tournament is actually that a 16-year-old wow. Minecraft Steve player by the name of Onin won the entire tournament using only Minecraft Steve which is amazing. It's very rare for young talent to not only compete at such a high level in tournaments, but also very rare for them to actually beat all of the top level competition that is at the venue. And honestly, it's a remarkable feat if you ask me. I mean, honestly, there's no problem with this at all. All that really happened is that a young kid won a Smash tournament. It's really not that deep. But my issue with this is that now people are using this kid's victory as an, as an excuse to push an agenda about a character they dislike instead of recognizing the skill of those top Steve players like Aquila, Yanni, and Jake, for example. Anytime any top Steve player in America hops in the Twitch uh, stream setup for a major Smash tournament, the Twitch chat is just flooded with people hating and dissing and people and calling those players carried for what because they're playing a character that you don't like how petty and childish do you have to be to hate on someone for using a character in a video game that you don't like look it's perfectly okay to complain or bitch about a character that you dislike look i'm a smash player too and i'm not immune to complaining about characters that i don't like either but you want to know the difference between a good player and a not good player a good player complains about the characters that they don't like and they work as hard as they can to get around that obstacle and not good players just complain good players see steve as an obstacle they need to overcome and bad players see steve as a problem that needs to be eradicated now is steve one of the best characters in the game or definitively number one in the game in the meta yeah, probably, but there's no use in sending hate towards a 16 year old kid for winning at a video game or simply complaining about the things that you dislike in that video game and just not getting anything done. In the future, if Steve were to dominate the metagame in a similar fashion to, say, Meta Knight in Brawl or whatever, to the point where all the players are just using Steve and he dominates every top eight and the spectators and you know, players in the game are not having fun because of the character, then yes, he should be banned. That he's bringing down the health of the game if that were to be the case. Honestly, I think the people who are going out of their way to send unnecessary hate towards Steve players are probably the people who only see Smash through a, a spectator lens or like tunnel view vision, I suppose. Are, are probably people who don't really play the game that much and don't really understand the game at a deeper level because if they did then their behavior would probably be different don't get me wrong it's perfectly valid to you know talk about whether you feel like steve should be banned it's perfectly valid to discuss the character in and of himself in a vacuum however what's not okay is using this kid's victory as an excuse to push your agenda about a character you dislike and completely discrediting all those players skills and effort to get good at the game and are now getting these results it has nothing to do with the character they are getting good at the game first i know lots of people like to come up with the the argument about you know all these steve players coming out of nowhere you know like where did this kid come from you know i've never seen him before and all of a sudden he's winning smash tournaments what a lot of these people probably aren't getting is the fact that these kids were probably Wi-Fi warriors like for a really long time you know and they probably just didn't have the means to travel because most, a lot of them are just young kids you know not, not a lot of them got money like that they're probably still in high school and you know they probably spent a really long time grinding on Wi-Fi to get good at the game and now when all these kids are coming out of nowhere and winning smash tournaments it was probably just because they didn't have the means to travel before and are now able to and now we can see how good they are honestly if you truly believe that these people are winning tournaments because of one character then let me put you up to the task if you feel like steve carries people so much to the point where they're beating top 10 players at their first major then you do it 
pick up Steve right now, head to your, your, your closest smashed major and win the whole thing. Do it. You're not going to. Now, coincidentally, if you look at the top eight for Super Smash Con, and actually, as a matter of fact, most other uh, majors uh, for Smash, you'll actually notice that there's usually only one Steve per top eight, coincidentally. So I don't understand this attitude that Steve is killing the metagame somehow when there's still plenty of diversity within the top 100. In the end, there's only like maybe five Steve players I can count on my hand, maybe a little bit more that are actually in the top 100. If he's killing the metagame, shouldn't there be more Steves? At this point, I'm pretty solidly convinced after seeing all of the uh, bitching and complaining about Steves getting a couple wins here and there, that uh, most Smash players ha actually haven't played any other fighting games outside of Smash because uh, if they did, then they'd know what true oppression looks like. I don't want to talk about it. Even in the big wave of support Onan received on Twitter for his big win at SmashCon, there's still plenty of people in the replies of the tweet saying that he won the tournament, saying, hey, uh, thanks for helping us ban Steve, lol, completely discrediting his skill at the game like a bunch of fucking gyms. Now, Onan himself actually has a, a sense of humor about the whole situation. Unlike most Smash players, and actually his tag on Twitter is at ban Steve, please. Hey, editor Deventress here, and I just wanted to say that, uh, actually, by the time I was editing this video, Onan actually changed his Twitter at to DemonBWR, but when, when I recorded the video, it was at BanSteevePlease. I'm going to show a screenshot of it anyway so you can see. I'm just letting you know. And um, I got to say to all the Smash players out there, uh, take some notes from this kid about how to not take these things so seriously. Hey, uh, Editor Deventurous back again. Uh, I just wanted to point out something that I forgot to say in the original recording. Uh, basically, I just wanted to say that I've noticed a, a significant bias towards Akala, who uh, is a top Steve player in Japan versus the treatment that the American uh, Steve players get. Uh, when it comes to smash majors if you look at the twitch chat or t on twitter every single time akala does anything like crazy with steve everyone pops off and they're like yo akala's so good oh my god like this he's he's so good and then when an american c player does it for some reason it's like oh they're they're carried and this this character's brain dead so i don't understand this weird bias towards akala when those other players from America are also very skilled at the game as well. To uh, all of the fucking gyms in the Smash community, this is my message to you. Grow up.